Hey guys, it's Brian from Crash Course Camera again here and just wanted to jump on real quick to cover an answer to a question that came in through the Facebook uh, Crash Course Camera group. This one came in from Cheryl and it's a pretty good question. She said, Brian, what causes the blue ring around my chin and how do I avoid it? Well, this one's a pretty easy one. Um, you can see in this photo she was trying to take a selfie pointed to the sky with the sun in the background right behind her head. And what's going on is she's got this blue line around her chin and that's actually just the light from the particular angle of the sun, the way it is, bouncing around inside the couple of glass elements in her lens and creating this particular sort of flare around there. How do you avoid it? Well, very, very easily. You just change your angle to the sun. That's number one way. Number two, you can, in her case, use um, part of her head to cover up part of the sun and retake the picture, which also will help the exposure as well. It'll actually make her face brighter because the camera is not seeing quite as much light and therefore thinking it needs to be darker to compensate for the exposure. Or you can cover the whole thing up and just be this halo lit, you know, beautiful person uh, in this photo. Before you take the picture, you can see that preview on the screen. You can actually just move it around and watch how those lens flares change on the screen. I'm sure you've seen it. So that's what she did, and this was the resulting shot. It's a much better shot. This is just the front camera of a cell phone, but it's still a cool shot. It actually looks a lot better than it did in the previous version, like this. Backlight, to me, always wins anyway. She's got this nice rim of light, sort of like shining through her hair in an angelic kind of quality. It's pretty cool. You know, the other thing to remember about this is that sometimes you want to get those lens flares in there, and you can do some really cool stuff. Um, DSLRs flare differently. Their lenses have much, many more uh, complicated pieces of glass inside, so they flare a little bit differently, but the whole idea is to get that light source coming straight into or from just slightly off angle to the lens to create those reflections off of those multiple glass pieces inside the lens. That's what creates the flare. And yeah, you can use it artistically to make some really nice shots. And these are all things I've done on uh, both DSLRs and on cell phones. So you can use this to your advantage. Cell phones, certain models don't handle flares quite as well as others. So just experiment and see what comes out. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. If you want to get better at your photography, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It's the red button down there. If you want to go over to the Facebook group, you're going to get lots of free information over there. I'm over there helping people who are going through the same stuff that you guys are all going through. So that makes sense? Rock on. Terrible.